Trini Girl Natural. Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I finally got my hands on this, the Eco Styler Gold. So I know a lot of my subbies have been like saying review and review and they want to see. So yeah, I finally found them at Beauty Supply. $7.99 as you see, but we'll talk about that part later. But yeah, it is kind of pricey, but I was curious, you guys are curious, so let's try it out. So this is my hair, um, no product. <laughs> And I'm starting with my slip and slide my proof hair glide from Sotanicals, which I love. I love this, it's a really nice creamy texture, lots of slip. So I just love it. Of course I love the frizzways also even more, but I love this too. So this is my section. I do have a lot of hair. So I'm just starting off with working in this leave-in. And I'm going to add a little oil because I don't trust Eco Styler and the weather right now, I don't trust glycerin. And Eco Styler has a lot of glycerin and it's very cold and dry out. So I'm going to do this leave-in, do some oil, then we'll get to the star of the show. Just squishing it in to help it spread because you see the inside. <laughs> Thick hair, wiry hair problems. This has lots of slip as you can see. It also defines my hair really well, so I really like the sleeve in. Although I like the frizzless even more, I still like have nothing but love feelings when I use this. I just have even more love feelings with the frizzless, also from Sotanicals. Okay, so this is my hair after applying the leave-in. So, you know, as you can see it's moisturized and defined. And now I'm ready for part two, which is <laughs> adding my oil. So I added a little bit of oil over the leave-in just to reduce any crunch and reduce dryness because it's still winter time, not according to the calendar, but according to outside. So yeah, now I'm ready for the start of the show. Leave-in and oil, leave-in oil in this. It's gold, it's shiny, it's thick. And it's kind of fun to use. It just comes out in this big gold glove. <laughs> so I kind of like that it's gold. That's kind of cute, I guess. And, you know, it does a good job as far as elongating and all that, you know. I just kind of put the gel around the outside and then work it through. Because my hair is thick, so there's a lot of hair in there. So the slip is good. It's probably better than I think it is. Maybe it's a subtle good slip because my hands do go through easily. I just don't really necessarily feel it sliding around. You know that is weird? Because like the main benefit of slip for me is like, you know, your hand goes right through slip, right? But it doesn't feel like your hands are like slipping around, if you know what I mean. My hands are getting through slowly at a nice pace, I guess, but it's not like ultra quick slippy. So I don't know, it's, it's interesting to describe. I think the black castor oil eco styler was very slippy slip in the beginning when I just put it on. And I'll link that video so you guys can see and then after a while it dried. This doesn't have as much slip as the black castor oil version when you just apply it. But it has more than the eventual amount of slip I guess. If you're really looking for an eco styler with slip, I would say try the sport version. But the slip on this one isn't bad at all. You know, but I think the sport was the most memorable for me in terms of slip. And I also have a video. <laughs> I think I covered most of the eco stylers. Anyone that you want to see me demo, just let me know. Once I rake it all through, I just do a praying hand, final praying hands. And that's it. Check it out. And wait for it to dry. <laughs> So this is an after I've applied Eco Styler everywhere, I'm going to turn around. And I'm going to wait for this to dry and be right back. I already kind of like the movement, but too early to tell, too early to tell. <laughs> we'll come back when it's dry and just discuss the results and talk about the gel some more. See you in a bit. Um, so far, so good. See you in a bit. And this is it. Here we are with the results. So I love it. I mean, it's big. I love the shape. It's defined. 
it's not crunchy i even went to the gym today and everything and i still maintain the shape so at least for me it had good hold um good movement <laughs> So I really don't have any problem with this gel. I think I would even say based on just performance, it's my new favorite Eco Styler gel. I know a lot of people were saying that it doesn't work on type 4 hair. I don't really do typing and this is exactly why because people are going to come up with rules like this doesn't work on type 4 or this doesn't work on type 3 when everybody's hair is different. So if you have tighter curls basically and you're thinking about giving it a try, it worked for me. It did, you know, define my curls, reduce frizz. It has more hold than the coconut. Easier to apply, I don't get that weirdness that I got with the caster. Less crunch than the olive and the crystal. More definition than the sport and the curling wave. So the best overall eco styler would be, I think, this one. But at that price, am I gonna buy it again? No. I'm gonna buy it when they come to their senses and bring it down to the rest of them, then yeah, I'm gonna buy it. But until then, I can kind of get what I need from Eco Styler with the other ones. It's synthetic gel, so it doesn't. There's no need for it to be eight dollars. This probably costs fifty cents to make, to be honest. So the price is ridiculous. It ain't that serious, Eco Styler. Like, stop playing. It still isn't super moisturizing. Like people who say that the Eco Styler moisturizes their hair, um, you know, to you, but my hair. No, Eco Styler does not moisturize my hair. The only Eco Styler I can say that moisturizes my hair is the Sport. I know right now it's not a good time to judge moisture because it's spring winter, <laughs> winter spring, like it's really dry outside and Eco Styler has a bunch of glycerin. So maybe I should do a follow up like when the spring actually gets here and the dew points are decent and let you guys know. But for right now, my hair isn't super dry, but it isn't like I just use the natural gel, Camille Rose or Uncle Funky or Baskin Bloom or something. I can still, it's not like super moisturized. Usually when I'm doing Eco Styler, I kind of suit up and put the cream as well. But I wanted to test this and I also heard like it didn't have much hole. So just in case I didn't want to kill a little bit of hole it had with the cream, I'm going to play around with it a little bit more to see the ideal usage. First of all, I'm going to wait until the dew points is decent. So I can rule out that. But once there's more moisture in the air, I'll try it again with a cream, try it again without a cream, and maybe just do a follow-up mention and let you guys know. Do I prefer to curl maker or kinky curly or caravana? No. Do I prefer it to the other eco stylers? Yes. Am I gonna buy it at that price? No. It's not the best gel on the market or anything. And at this price, you're crazy. Eight dollars? No. I don't do Eco Styler wash and goes very often, and I don't have any Eco Styler that gives me this exact look. They all look a little different for me. So my hair is usually really flat with the crystal and the olive. It's really big with the curl and wave and the sport. So this is kind of something in between. They have this little thing here because I guess you're paying $7.99, so you want to feel like you're special. So you did have this little special access seal and stuff to open. I guess make you feel a little VIP. And they also advertise their new line and stuff, but. I'm not super curious about trying this at all, so I really doubt you'll see me trying any of these. I really doubt. <laughs> Let me know if you've tried any of these, but I'm just saying that they had it on here, they mentioned it as well. It does say it has a hole of 10 and a shine of 10. As we know these days, the hole of 10 is relative because even my coconut says hole of 10 and I don't really feel like it does have a hole of 10. I feel like the sport also says hole of 10. Now hole of 10 these days don't mean anything since they're putting all these oils. It's a lot less stiff and crunchy, which I like because I'm not a cast breaker. I just like my hair to feel soft from the get-go. Made in the USA too, I guess. Not black hole, I doubt. I gave you a peek at the glow up before, but you can see the glow up. I still like the glow. I guess that's where they get this tan shine from, I guess. But my hair doesn't look particularly shiny. It just looks like it's natural shine, so I don't know. It's just a typical eco styler texture. I'm sure they were like following us in the Facebook groups and following us <laughs> like on social media and like, okay, what do they want? So they definitely have their eye on the natural hair community clearly with this gel and with the prices. They may as well just come out and say eco styler for natural hair basically. So it's kind of cool that we are driving products on the market. Even like mainstream products and products that were here before the natural hair movement are like thinking about us and their stuff. Like we have the power. So that's cool. It was funny to me that they were making all these claims like, okay, shine, hold, moisturize. All right. Nourish, repair, promote hair growth. Um, Eco Styler. What? With this little bit of oil is going to do all of that? Like, 
I don't know. I feel like they're just saying too much here. Don't buy this for the ingredients. If you want castor oil, shea butter, and flaxseed, just buy some. You don't need to buy something with a trace of the thing that promises that that trace of thing is going to do something for your hair. I just think those kind of claims are just ridiculous. So buy it if you want Eco Styler gel <laughs> that's gold and doesn't have a lot of crunch and has some hold and definition. As you can see, it definitely gives you a light performance. Like look how much light I have, how much layers I have here. So it definitely gives you big light here. So my review is, yeah, actually my review is I like it. So that's it. That was my Eco Styler Gold review. I'm so glad to finally be bringing it to you guys. I know you guys were curious. You saw it. I can't say first, but you saw it here finally. And you saw it here finally. And don't be shy to try it if you want to spend the money. <laughs> if you don't want to spend the money, you're not missing anything, to be honest. But if you're curious and you want to try this gold life, if you want this gold goop in your hair if you want to dip some gold then by all means try it and you might actually like it for eight dollars i'll probably just wait for caraveda or somebody to have a sale and probably pay that much for an actual moisturizing healthy product for your hair so that's it my eco styler gold review thanks so much for watching and let me know if you're gonna try it let me know what you want me to review next like comment subscribe see you in the next one bye So that's it, Eco Styler Go Review.